Hi guys, so today I'm really excited to do this video because I'm going to be reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation Finally, now this has kindly been sent to me by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just super super excited to just try it out and give you like a full review on it So I have the shades 8 and 9 So I'm probably going to mix the two because I know I'm not like either of them because I have the Light Wonder foundation which I really really like It's definitely more of like a natural foundation and I believe this is more like full coverage So on the front it says it's a flawless long lasting coverage broad, broad spread bleh. What was that? Um, it says it's a flawless, long-lasting coverage, broad-spectrum SPF 15. Um, so it has SPF 15 in there, which is standard for most foundations. It says on the back that it's a full coverage, demi-matte, long-lasting foundation, enriched with hyaluronic acid, larissal, and the concentrated power of vitamin C. Skin is moisturised, dewy, and pores are minimised. I actually really like that description. Like, no joke. Application for flawless coverage, apply with my foundation brush starting at the center of the face and working outwards finish with airbrush flawless finish powder along the t-zone and the chin to control the shine i'm actually definitely going to get their airbrush um flawless finish powder because that powder is actually really nice and if you want to know what shade i am i'm dark and i would get like the middle shade that i think it was medium for my under eyes but that powder is so good so i'm just going to quickly moisturize my skin i'm just going to use a normal moisturizer and um, my bobby brown one uh the spf 25 extra pair because my skin has been feeling like really like really dry so today's my friend's birthday well it was her birthday at the beginning of the month but we're all meeting up to go out I'm going central so I'm really gonna put this foundation to the test I mean I always do but it's even better when I go out and stuff and I am going to color correct because I mean at the moment I feel like I've been needing color correction I'm so excited for this video guys I don't know if you guys can tell I'm gonna use my MAC conceal and correct duo in um, pure orange Everything will be like linked in the info box as always. I am going to use a brush because it says to use a brush. I'm going to be using the full coverage face brush by Bobbi Brown. I really like this brush because it's like really dense and soft. I've got the bottles, the packaging, like Charlotte Tilbury packaging just makes you feel extra special like for some reason. Like it's so chic and like, I don't know, I just feel like it's so fragile. It's not obviously not, but it just feels like you just need to cherish it. So this is what the foundation bottles look like. The bottles are like a matte finish and you've got like the super pretty like gold rose gold lid. This is eight and this is nine. I'm gonna check if I'm colour eight, but we'll see. I mean it does look a tad bit light. I mean I feel like I could get away with this colour actually. I'm just going to blend this all over on one side and see what I can... But I feel like that's a good colour. doesn't really have a scent but I feel like that's definitely a good colour match for me it's going on very like glowy The consistency is not like droopy, <clears throat> it does stay in place when you pump it into your hand. Just want to make sure that I can cover the colour corrector. So you don't want any orange peeking through. Like, 
like this part of my face has been feeling very irritated lately don't know why I'm not getting like super full coverage vibes out of this foundation I'm getting more like medium to full I mean it's definitely covered but like I'm tempted to put a bit more like in these areas but do you know what I'm just gonna try it with my sponge like on my um, hand on the back of my hand it does stay pretty dewy I'm actually really happy with this colour match though. It's definitely buildable. Guys, doesn't that look like flawless? Flawless. I'm kind of happy with this. I'm really happy. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to give you some of my first impression thoughts on the foundation. Right, so I just finished the rest of my makeup and I am loving the foundation. Guys, it looks... Do you know what? It's like full coverage, but it doesn't look like I've caked my face. I mean, I could do a bit more coverage around here, but I'm not bothered. Like, I don't mind if some of my skin comes through, but I'm really loving this look. Like, it just looks stunning. I really 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 like it um the real question is smile lines like smile lines are my biggest issue so we'll see if that can hold up it's now what time is it it's 2 25 I'll probably go back later on so we'll see how it looks then okay so I'm now back guys it is 11 p.m. 11 or 1 p.m. okay so I haven't even looked at myself in the mirror since I got out I like this is I'm actually looking at my skin close up so this is like an actual reveal because I haven't even looked at myself I'm just observing do you know what I'm not mad I mean it has obviously like my nose it's just gone a tad bit funny like a tad bit it's obviously faded off a bit here on the tip of my nose and I have a little bit of my lines. Let me just do a close up for you guys. I mean it's not that bad because most of the times it goes like all the way up here and it's just done it here. There's not much separation. My nose is just a slightly dry. Like slightly. Everywhere else it looks damn flawless. I mean like the foundation made my skin look flawless given that i'm dry i mean i do set my face with a lot of setting spray and i feel like it's nice and dewy that's how i like it some of you might call this oily but i really like it when my skin's a bit like dewy because i kind of i feel comfortable with my skin like that i mean it has given me smile lines separated a bit on my nose for some reason which is weird but overall, the foundation is actually really nice. I mean, when you look at it, and bear in mind, I don't take powder with me. I don't touch my face a lot when I'm out. I don't take any makeup apart from, like, lipstick. So the fact that I've had this on for, like, what, 10 hours or something, can't be bothered to count, and it's staying strong like this everywhere else. It's just smooth, it's soft, not even patchy. It's just my smile lines, which is obviously most of the time there. Like, most of the time, it's just there. But it's much less than other foundations I've tried as well. I'm actually really happy at this foundation. I feel like I'm always happy with the foundations I try. Um, it looks pretty good. Coverage is really good. Definitely more of like a medium to full coverage. It is demi matte when you when you apply it. I mean, I put really hydrating products to my face, so that's why it has that glow to it. So if you have dry skin, you can wear it. I mean, I would concentrate more here because I've definitely gone a bit drier there, which is the only issue. But that's just the way my skin is. I've gone patchy, the makeup has gone really well on top of it. I don't know, I really like it. I feel really, I felt uh, nice in it. Like, I felt like my skin looked nice in it, you know, and you feel good. You know, when you feel good, you know it's a good foundation. So I'm kind of, I'm really happy with it and would I really, would I wear it again? Definitely. Shade 8 is definitely my colour because it did oxidise a tad bit so it adapts to my skin tone but not that much, like literally a tad bit. Like for like every foundation it's kind of the same thing but it's not significant oxidisation. Yeah, good, a, a solid 8 out of 10. That's what I will rate this foundation. Could, if you have dry, uh, oily skin, 
and you use mattifying products underneath you would love this foundation if you have dry skin just use really hydrating rich moisturizers um, and just make sure you concentrate a lot of moisture in the, your drier areas because it will cling on and separate in those areas um, smile lines as well is, is the only issue but it's not that bad anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed this review um, I'm really happy with the foundation I really like, really love it I mean like Charlotte Tilbury what did you do I really like this I feel really nice and confident in this foundation that's what I would say so yeah make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time